Hey what's up guys, Ali here from iSocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to look at three different tools that you can use to see Instagram analytics for free. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. Alright now, let's jump right into this. The first tool that you can use to view Instagram analytics is called igblade.com right here. And for an example, let's take an example of Lewis House. Uh, let me pull up his account. So here's a cool thing. So as I was typing the name of his account, it comes up. So you can view analytics on any public Instagram account. Very cool. So here we go. This is how many uh, followers he has and the main, his bio and everything. He's using link trick, uh, link tree, not link trick. Uh, and here's the growth curve, the followers in last like 90 days and also the following. Let's scroll down and then we can see the data the daily growth, followers in the last 30 days, very helpful data. And by the way, if you're an agency and maybe you have multiple Instagram clients, you can use this tool to track everything, right? And I believe if you create the, if you do sign in, I'm not signed in right now. If you sign in, you're able to uh, create reports up to five or 10 accounts for free. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, really interesting data here. So this is the area that I pay attention to a lot. So the the daily changes so if i want to see an account i want to see are they gaining followers on daily basis or losing followers so this is really really helpful uh, and this is the most recent this is today august 4th and then it goes back scroll down and then some other uh, types of engagement in last 180 days posting habits what type of content it's being posting um, and obviously they do have if you do upgrade to the pro it's a freemium tool so there's a lot that you get in the free, but if you do want to, uh, some of their pro features, you can upgrade. One thing I like to see, so if I click on the browse stats, it's going to show me, look at this, so I'm in the, the second tab, so I was in the overview before, now I'm in the uh, stats tab, so I can see data for last, I believe, 90 days, so look at that. So you can change the time frame, look at this, so we can see the overall, the long-term growth on this channel. This is especially helpful, let's say, if you're trying to buy or acquire a new Instagram account, you can use tools like this to really analyze and see like what's happening behind the scene. All right, the next uh, tab is the post. So here you'll be able to see the most recent content from this account. Very cool. All right. So that was a tool number one, igblade.com. The second one is called Ninjalytics. So it's ninjalytics.com. Maybe I spelled it wrong. I'm just going to search for Ninjalytics. Here's the right spelling, I believe. There you go. So it's ninjalytics.com right here. Um, and it's very similar. We're going to input his username here again. Lewis House, analyze. And one thing you'll realize is a lot of the data between different tools, it's very similar. With minor, obviously, changes. You can pick the one that you like, but in this video, I'll share three of my favorite tools. So, Ninja Linux, so we, we're seeing the stats uh, on the top. One thing I like to see is the engagement rate. So for example, on this account, the engagement rate is 0.94% and also it's lower than average. That's good to know. And then you can see the follower growth. You can change the time frame, last seven days, three months, and also the max. So you can see the time frame of uh, the, the growth curve on this account. You can also change if you wanted to see certain, uh, a specific time period, you could put those dates in there. If you scroll down, you can see a lot of other uh, data on this account. So here's the daily growth, the followers variation, and the following variation on this account. And the weekly and monthly stats, that's very helpful to know. The blog posts, hashtag data, it's still loading. And here's the, what my favorite part, <laughs> what I like to see, because I want to see what's the, the net change in the followers. Is this account growing on a consistent basis or losing followers? And also, uh, the following, sometimes when people, here's the cool thing, if you're seeing the, the following go up and down, so if you see a one day account had like you know, 100 following and the next day they, um, they remove those 100 followers, 
uh, like a big big change here you can you can identify that account is using the follow unfollow uh, growth strategy and you can also see how many times they're posting for example yesterday or today they posted twice three times uh, yesterday one 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 two 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 so you can see that the daily like uh, content strategy 20 times in a day wow that was crazy on um, July 15 so maybe there was there was a launch day uh, and the other thing is look at this so they posted 20 times a day and they grew by 3,000 that's the most they have grown so see there's a lot of insight so once you pay attention to the data there's a lot that you can learn from it and obviously then you can see the data on uh, the last 12 posts on this account very cool all right so that was our tool number two so I, uh, IG blade was num number one Ninja Analytics number two, and the third tool is socialblade.com. And cool thing about Social Blade is you can use this tool for a lot of different social media channels. So we're gonna focus on Instagram, so I'll select Instagram here, and then let's put Lewis House, hit enter, and then it's gonna access all the data. Look at this, so here you go, the main, um, summary of the account, the ranking. I never understood their ranking. I think they just rank their accounts, uh, every, everything that's up added to Social Blade. But all this data is here. Let me close this. And um, here's the, you know, the my favorite part, the growth and the following, the follower, uh, followers and the following, and also the media uploaded uh, daily basis. And this is kind of like backward. This is, the, this is the most recent today, and then it's going back, I believe, 30 days. And here's the monthly gain followers for Lewis House. So you can see on monthly basis if they're gaining. So they gained a lot of followers here in, in, uh, in January of 2020. And the monthly gain following in the media. So a lot of interesting data here. Uh, let's go back up. And uh, this was the summary. If you want to see detailed statistics, you can click on that. And now you'll have more access. See, there's more uh, data here. And here's the weekly followers gain. You can see that growth following the media uploads. Here's the curve. Here's what I was looking for. The total followers. So see how the growth has been like up. They had a massive growth here um, during January. Uh, and then here's the, the following. And the total media so they've been consistently uploading uh, media on this account so these are the three accounts you can use these on your Instagram account or any public Instagram account like I did or if I if you manage multiple clients you can use these tools to track one of the things we do at, at my agency is once we have different clients we use these tools to to track the growth on their account uh, on their accounts so when I create the monthly report for my clients we use some of these charts if it's relevant if it's part of uh, the scope that we're committed to them so yes the three tools that are free to use um, igblade.com, ninjalytics, and also socialblade.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those questions below in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.